Hi everyone, this is the fourth video in the Tailwind installation series where I explain how to install and use Tailwind CSS in five different ways. Combining Tailwind CSS with front end frameworks like React, Vue, Angular offers several advantages. This guide focuses on Vue.js, but the general approach can be applied to other frameworks as well. For all the framework specific guides, which are more than 20, I guess, you can visit the link in the description. But we will go with Vue.js in this video. Using Tailwind CSS with Vue.js is an excellent choice for Vue projects. It enhances Vue projects, ensuring clean and organized code base. So let's install Vue.js first. Of course, even Vue has a lot of different ways that we can install Vue.js, but this is the normal way that I use, so I just uh, use that. So project name could be just view project. I'll just enter the defaults. No, no, no for everything. So we'll go inside view project. We install all the view specific dependencies. Now we will install the Tailwind CSS. This is the command to install the Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and Auto Prefix different dependencies. And now we will initialize Tailwind CSS using npx Tailwind CSS in it, and we'll give a flag key here. This will create the Post CSS configuration file as well. So as you can see, it created Tailwind CSS config file and also post CSS config file. Let's open this view project. So here we can see post CSS is there with the exact same plugins that we used in the post CSS method as well and Tailwind CSS. Here we have to add the path to the content, but unlike the other methods, you can see index.html is outside the source folder that's how view works so we just have to add a different uh, code snippet here so let me copy that and paste it here i just want to remind you again that uh, there is an article in the description where i have put together all the five methods with detailed step-by-step -step instructions along with all the code snippets that i'm using here you can follow along using that article if you want to just copy and paste the commands and the code snippets that I'm using here. So I'll save it. Now in Vue.js, the CSS file is generally in the assets folder here in main.css. You can just add the Telvin. But please understand that order of these import statements and these directives is important. If you keep these Telvin directives above import, then the existing styles will not work. Let's save this. And run the project by using npm run dev command so that I can show you how it looks. Let's close the terminal. And on the left side, you can see the styling for this. So, this is how the output of your project looks like as soon as we install it and do not make any changes. So, if we add Tailwind CSS directives here and save it. You can see that slightly the spacing has changed. Let me comment this so you can observe again. Watch the home page. You can see that spacing has been changed. So that's something Tailwind does by default. And here the styles of view did not have it, so it changed. But if you change the order of this to above and keep the import below and now save this, you can see a lot more things have been changed here. I'll comment this again observe that i'll uncomment and see so you can keep this styles or you can just remove it generally if i'm using tailwind css i'll just remove everything and i'll keep it completely tailwind specific and this is imported in main.js here so if you are creating css file somewhere else make sure you change the file path here as well and in app.view let me just delete everything or just comment. I 
okay now we don't have anything let's add some text here let's add some classes to see if it's working so you can see we can use the tailwind classes here as well so that's how you install tailwind css in a front-end framework like vue.js so we are almost done with this let's see how to use tailwind css without installing node.js at all in the next video that is standalone cli Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.